Hi, it's The Wire. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. It is January 22nd, 2024. In other words, it's early in the week. It's Monday. Let's talk about a couple of plays for this coming week, the conference championships in the NFL. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now San Francisco 12 and 5 is hosting Detroit 12 and 5 for the right to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. There's a bet to me that just leaps off the page. Now first, let me just say, we deal in the world of probabilities, not certainties. The risk is yours. I like Brock Purdy at a minus 135 to get more than 261 and a half passing yards. Again, Brock Purdy over 261 and a half passing yards at a minus 135. Folks, understand that the Niners had 4,384 passing yards on the season. That's the third highest total, excuse me, the fourth highest total in the entire National Football League. Brock Purdy threw for more than 261 and a half passing yards nine times in the, pre in the regular season. Right, nine times. Detroit gave up this passing total six times in the regular season. If we get into the postseason, understand the last two quarterbacks to go up against Detroit have each passed for more than 300 yards. Detroit's made a decision to stop the run defensively and to take their chances with the other side passing the football. I don't believe that's going to change this coming weekend. I like Brock Purdy over 261 and a half passing yards at a minus 135. The next bet is high risk. Right? I assume you have a betting portfolio. I assume some bets are riskier than others. I like the risk reward on this bet. But understand it's high risk. It is Brock Purdy to throw for more than two and a half touchdowns. In other words, to win this bet, Purdy is going to have to throw three TDs. Understand, Purdy did that five times in the regular season. Five times. As I mentioned earlier, Detroit in both playoff games this year has given up more than 300 passing yards. Understand the Niners regular season had 33 touchdowns, the second highest total in the entire league. Right? Let me say this about Purdy too. It's been an interesting year. Look at the quarterbacks who are left. Right? There are three first round picks. Right? You have a guy who was picked first in the draft in Jared Goff. You have Pat Mahomes, who was picked in the first half of the first round. And you have Lamar Jackson picked at the end of the first round. There's only one quarterback. Only one quarterback picked in the last round of the draft who's still playing. And understand Brock Purdy was the last pick. Now, of all of these quarterbacks, I think there is a fair chance, at least a fair chance, that Brock Purdy passes for the most passing yards championship weekend. Right? Pat Mahomes, who is a juggernaut, is going up against a hellacious defense. Lamar Jackson, the likely MVP, isn't a guy who translates that into a lot of passing yards. Right? Jared Goff is going up against a hellacious defense. Brock Purdy is not. Look at the defensive pattern of the Lions of late. 
They're focusing against the run. Understand, against the Niners, you have a good reason to do so. Because Christian McCaffrey won the rushing title this year. So I'm expecting a big day. By the way, on the over two and a half touchdowns, that's such a speculative play. That they're giving you a plus 180 on that. Let me repeat that. Brock Purdy, over two and a half passing touchdowns. They're giving you a plus 180. To sum up this video, I like Brock Purdy over 261 and a half passing yards. That's a minus 135. And I like Brock Purdy over two and a half passing touchdowns. That's a plus 180. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let's know what picks you like in this Niner game. Tell us about it in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.